Welcome to the Scorpion Oracle Priestess. If you're new here to my channel, hit that like and subscribe bell so that you can receive notifications each and every time I post new content. Today, I'll be doing a general reading for Taurus. I've already cleansed my deck and have prepared the cards for us, and I've also went ahead and cleared the energy in my space. All right, so let's jump into this reading. Taurus, it says adjustments are required, okay? So what does that mean? Um, now is the time that you will be focusing on yourself, clearing out any type of negativity, getting rid of um, old behaviors or bad behaviors. Um, for some of you, this could be working on a diet. You might um, be looking at how you can improve your overall health standing. Um, some of you might be trying to uh, move around more, exercise, get in the gym. Um, or you may just even be um, just uh, conscious about what you take into your body, okay? So I'm um, picking up that now may be a good time to just focus and be conscious on the type of foods and things that you are taking into your body, okay? Be careful and good to your body around this time, okay? Um, I'm also picking up some of you may be having problems um, around your, your stomach, something with your stomach, okay? So be very careful about the type of foods you may be uh, uh, taking in or, or picking up and just make sure that um, you're staying hydrated, okay? Um, again, you need to let go of that negativity. So whatever it is that you're doing, um, if you're hovering over things from the past, you're needing to let that go. Um, the past does not help you. It doesn't help you to hold on to things or harvest things that are no longer good for you, okay? You need to go ahead and release that, okay? It's time to let that go now, all right? A new start is coming for you, okay? A new start is coming for you. Um, that could be anything from uh, relationships. That could be anything from uh, a new job. That could be anything from um, you uh, expecting uh, maybe a, a, a new uh, person coming into uh, your life, uh, maybe a, a lover, maybe an old lover may be returning, or you may be working um, on a new relationship around this time, okay? Um, this is a good time for you to focus on, on positive goals, okay? And whatever you set your mind to, you'll be able to achieve around this time. Um, if you've been feeling kind of delayed or stagnant, um, this card should, you know, make you feel like you're starting something new, okay? The start of a new cycle is coming for you. Um, new beginnings, new beginnings. Um, so old things, toxic things, toxicity, let that go, okay? Throw those things out of the window as you start preparing for uh, new things to come into your life, okay? Clear your space, clear your energy so that you can receive the new blessings um, that may be coming um, into your life, okay? Around this time, you'll be feeling a lot more hopeful. Um, for those of you who may have been down or feeling depressed, um, your hopes and spirits um, are up around this time, okay? Um, and you're also big into manifestation right about now. Um, focusing on your dreams and, and manifesting the things that you want to come uh, true. And again, in order to do that, you need to let go of the past. You know, this um, negativity that you're holding on to, whether it's a toxic relationship, um, bad workspace, um, uh, money, you know, maybe maybe tight. Things are going to improve here, okay? Things will improve, you know? You're going to work on that relationship. You're going to work on that job security, okay? You're going to work on your, your finances here. New blessings will be coming um, to you during this time, okay? Um, trust for a lot of you is big. Um, Tauruses are big on trust and loyalty and honesty, okay? So trust around this time is really big for you, okay? And it's going to be uh, necessary, and for you to trust yourself, your intuition, and for you to have the trust of those that are around you around this time, okay? Some of you may feel as if though you have people around you who you can't trust. You're starting to feel a little leery and iffy about them. You may be um, thinking that um, they haven't been very honest with you. They may be holding things back. Um, you feel as if though um, you're, they're smiling in your face, but maybe stabbing you in your back, okay? Um, so now is the time for you to focus on staying close to people that you trust and people that support you and believe in you, okay? As a new start for you is coming and you don't want to bring any of that old negativity into this new beginning for you, okay? As you do want to continue to manifest good thoughts and positivity around this time, okay? You are good enough. You are good enough, okay? We're going back here to this adjustments are required, okay? For those of you 
who may have been feeling down, um, just beating yourself up, starting to feel depressed, maybe even feeling as if though um, you have not um, done everything that you could have or should have done. I'm um, picking up that with some of you, um, it could be surrounding relationships, maybe children, maybe those of you that have small or young children, um, you're realizing maybe you weren't as present as you wanted to be for them. Maybe you weren't as present as you needed to be for them, okay? And you're, you're starting to realize that you missed out. You missed out or lost out on that on that child's life or those children's lives, okay? And it's making you wonder, you know, were you a good enough parent? Were you a good enough mother, a good enough father? You know, other things um, kind of got in the way. Maybe it was work, okay, needing to provide for the family. I'm picking up that um, some of you were the sole provider. And it has caused you to feel like you weren't good enough, you know, that you didn't do all that you could have done for the family because you had to take care of other matters to be able to keep the family afloat. I'm here to tell you that you're good enough, okay? You are good enough. The children uh, see you as a person that had to provide. They understand that you had to provide, that you were the sole provider, okay? Or, or you were um, in a position where if you did not do X, Y, and Z, they wouldn't have. They realize that, okay? I'm even picking this up in relationships, okay? Um, some of you may be with a partner um, or a spouse or a significant other, who um, has made you feel as if though you weren't present enough for them. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like maybe someone maybe have just had a child of given birth and maybe you weren't there for them um, during that uh, postpartum period the way they needed you to be. I feel like you may have been absent. You may have been a little distant from them, okay? Um, and, and, you know, <laughs> bringing children to the world affects people different ways, okay? Um, it could have been that, you know, you felt like um, you, you would mess up, that you weren't good enough, you know? You may have been dealing with your own childhood traumas, uh, Taurus, and you felt as if, though, you might would mess up or you might would ruin things. I'm telling you that you're not going to, okay? Life is a learning process. It's a journey, and we all learn as we go and as we grow, okay? But your significant other, your partner, they feel as if, though, you started to abandon them around this time, okay? I'm picking up the word abandonment. They felt abandoned by you. They felt like you weren't present, they felt like you weren't um, home as much as you should have been. They felt like you were constantly on the go. They didn't realize, though, that you were trying to provide. You were trying to provide for the family, making sure that everybody had everything, that um, needs were being met. No one left or went without anything, okay? But they didn't understand that. And so that has you feeling as if, though, okay, maybe you weren't good enough because you weren't there for them when they needed you, okay? Um, they don't feel you were there for them when they needed you, okay? Um, and so for some of you, this this could be leading to this, a separation from a relationship um, because your partner feels like when they needed you the most, you weren't there, um, that you disconnected from them, okay? Um, and so it's, it's not uncommon for, you know, for Taurus, you know, to uh, go into solitude for a little bit to get themselves together. But I feel like your partner, um, maybe they didn't know you as well as they thought they did. Uh, for some of you, I feel like maybe you hadn't been knowing this person very long or hadn't been dating them very long. Um, and they just weren't aware that these are, you know, part of your traits, your characteristics that, hey, I have to regroup. You know, I'm not abandoning you. Um, I'm not disowning you. You know, I'm, I'm still here. I'm doing the, the necessary things. I'm taking care of necessities, but I also need time for me. It's very important that um, Tauruses have um, solo time to themselves. They need time to regroup, okay? Um, they enjoy the luxuries and the finer things of life. They And Tauruses, they love material things, okay? They do. Those things make them happy, but they also enjoy having time to themselves, okay? So this person may have felt that um, while you were off um, working and taking care of yourself, that maybe you were having too much fun, okay? That they, they feel like maybe you even um, uh, took uh, a part in, you know, uh, extra, you know, marital affairs, okay? And this person has become very weary of you, Um and they're not understanding that, you know, it wasn't that you had stepped out, but you needed some time. You needed some space, okay? Yes, you were going to work. Yes, you were taking care of the bills. Yes, you were handling the family, but you also needed some space. And they weren't understanding that. I feel like there was a disconnect between you two. Um, when they needed you, you also began to feel closed in and needed your space, okay? Um, if this is resonating with some of you, take what you need from it and apply it to your life where it needs to be or where it, you need to, to place it, where it needs to go. If it doesn't, throw it back out to the universe. But for some of you, I feel like when your partner needed you the most, 
you couldn't be there because you still had things, traumas that you had to work on and that you were also afraid that you're going to mess things up with them, okay? So that's why you pulled away. That's why you stepped back um, so that you could try to work on yourself. You know, you didn't want to say something to hurt them. You realized they were in a vulnerable place. You didn't want to hurt them. And so you, you used work as an excuse, but it wasn't an excuse, if that makes sense, Taurus. You were st steady fast at work. You are working, but you also, too... When you stepped out, you stepped out, okay? Um, they felt like you stayed away from home too long. For some of you, you did. You probably didn't come in until like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, okay? After work was done, you needed that release. You needed an outlet, okay? An outlet that you couldn't get at home, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like you, you may also, too, um, have started to feel like you were uh, maybe tied down. Maybe tied down. Um, maybe feeling like you have not accomplished some of the goals and dreams that you wanted to in life just yet. And that's um, that's coming through as it was starting to weigh in on some of you, you know. Um, you're looking at your life about, like, what have you done? Where's time gone? And you realize you're not where you feel you should be at this point in time, okay? You are good enough, okay? You are good enough, okay? Um, new things are coming to you. New beginnings are going to happen for you. And you're going to see how uh, well you're going to flourish, you know, around this time, okay? But you do have to get rid of old baggage, okay? You have to drop that dead weight. You know, Taurus, sometimes you can have the tendency to be a little negative about things, you know? Hold on to grudges a little longer than you should. You have to let that dead energy go, okay? And especially if you wanted to walk into new things. You want new beginnings to take place for you. You want um, more peace, more happiness in your home. Then you're going to have to let go of this stagnant um, behavior, this attitude, this chip that you have on your shoulder, um, this silent treatment, um, this narcissist type behavior, you're going to have to get rid of that. Or you could uh, lose your relationship. If that's not what you're looking to do, then you're going to need to turn things around during this time, okay? Because this person feels like you've left them already. They feel like uh, mentally you've left them already. You're, th you're just there physically. They feel like mentally and spiritually you have left them already, okay? So you want to be, you know, careful um, to not to continue these behaviors with this person um, because they do feel as if though you have already walked away and for those of you that have children they do feel like that the children is the only thing that is keeping you there they feel like if children weren't involved you'd leave you've been gone a long time ago okay for some of you this may be true um, that if the children weren't there, you would leave the relationship, okay? Um, for some of you, I'm also picking up that you don't want your children to have the same lifestyle that you had, you know, especially if you were in a, a single-parent home. You want them to grow up in a two-parent home, okay? But the the uh, responsibilities of the relationship are starting to burden you down. Tauruses don't like to be tied down. The bull likes to roam free. Some of you feel like you're in a relationship that is no longer serving or benefiting you. And you're just there because of the children. The benefit of the relationship is gone for some of you. It's been long gone. And you're only there for certain reasons, okay? Um, I would evaluate that, you know? Um, you don't want to put yourself in situations where you are just there just because. Because the children can eventually start to pick up on that, you know? Um, noticing that things are not, you know, in a good place between um, both parents, you know? Um, so you never want to use children as an excuse to stay in a poor uh, relationship or a relationship that is no longer working, okay? It's not good for you mentally. It's not good for the spouse mentally. It's not good for anyone involved mentally. Um, in the end, it just causes more chaos and hurt and confusion, okay? Taurus, this concludes the reading. If you've enjoyed the content, hit that like, subscribe, so that you can receive notifications each and every time I post new content. As always, be good to yourself and stay safe.